Hi and welcome back to Golf Rules Simplified. Today we are mostly going to discuss rules around the putting green. If you play the ball from out of the bunker and some sand intervenes between your ball and the hole and you intend to putt it, if you remove loose sand or soil anywhere in the general area, that will attract the general penalty. However, moving loose sand or soil is permissible on the putting green and you can do so without a penalty. So anyway, in the general area, if you remove loose sand or soil in stroke play, you get two strokes penalty. In match play, you lose the hole. If you do the same on the putting green, no penalty. If your ball ends up in temporary water on a putting green, you are entitled to relief. You may mark your ball. It is recommended, not required. Then you establish the nearest point of complete relief away from the temporary water. This is where the ball or your stance will not be interfered with by the temporary water. Remember that sometimes that point of complete relief may be off the putting green. What qualifies as a ball marker? It has to be a small artificial item that you can use to mark your ball. Anything natural, like a leaf or a stone, does not qualify as a ball marker. If you're playing on a putting green that has aeration holes, tapping them down or fixing them is improving your lie and doing so will earn you the general penalty. And finally, when is your golf ball hold? This golf ball is not hold because no part of the ball is below the surface of the ground. Anytime any part of the golf ball is below the surface of the ground, as shown on this image, the ball is hold.